we've had the under eight academy day at Sparrows Lane. Obviously Saturday they're walking around the pitch at half time but today they've come in, we've done a little bit of a workshop on academy values and also how we want our academy boys to play because so they've got a bit more of an understanding on that. We then went out, watched the first team train which was we're so thankful for Nathan and Tracy for helping us organise. Now I said we're going to go for a little walk around the pitch, should, should we not do that? Uh, we, we should. Should we just go watch the first team training? Yeah. 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 Are you excited? Yeah. 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 Are you excited? Yeah. 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 I don't think they're excited enough. Are you excited enough? Yeah. Yeah. looking around the classroom and they were all in here today seeing so many faces around and names in which they've seen so obviously even got Joe Gomez next door with his big pitch and we're going sort of there we go Champions League winner England international they've all spotted Karoy straight away on the wall next door by the door so they're all going oh I've seen him play and it's, it's massive for them um, like even the likes of Miles as well came out and took a photo he's on the walls and everything so it's one in which we use this room massively for when we're sort of talking to players and parents and sort of going just look around at how much history of academy boys coming into the first team there is here. It, it's surrounded with you and it's something that is a real big point for this club to be able to continue to develop players.